Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Surviving Mars in Maximum Difficulty. In the last video, I think we finally got our feet under us. We are now producing plenty of goods. We're actually getting capped out on our, um, our housing, interestingly enough. We have too many people, not too few, so I'm feeling like we're really making some solid progress here. Now, we do have some bottlenecks still. Of course, no room to grow is going to be an issue. Renegades are continuing to grow and become an issue. And we're not producing enough water still, which uh, is unfortunate, but we have a food we're doing the best that we can. Have some starving colonists. They're all old people. I'm trying to get rid of them to free up some space, if nothing else. There's a housing crisis, don't you know? Uh, Hopeless, I guess we can go ahead and send you back. So we are currently working on research for Logi Engineering, which will get me a much larger dome, which I think is going to end up being crucial in order to build up enough uh, wiggle room for people to actually move out of here and go do something else. Um, because right now, quite a few of our residents feel like they're not getting all of their needs met. There's not enough comfort and such coming around. So, having one giant central dome where all of our residences and our needs are met, and then having a bunch of industrial domes where people travel to do their work, should be fine. Now, one thing I'm concerned about is the polymer factory. I do suspect that we're going to have to relocate this if we want people to work, or they're just going to have to live in this dome forever. One of the two. I'm not sure which it's going to be, but that's probably fine. Um, we have how many seniors in total, by the way? Four? Yeah, let's just go ahead and turn off the Bengal fields and let them die a little bit faster. Okay, looking fine. Um, working on a ramp over here. Once we're done with the upgrade to Logi Engineering, we will get the moisture farming finished. It's not going to be too much longer, and that's going to let me get uh, at least a bit more uh, water consistently without having to worry about the water extraction. Stop selling my electronics. Those are expensive. If we can get the deep water extraction, we can be free of water issues for most of the game. This will take care of me pretty darn nicely. Another alternative would be to research something like the water conservation systems, which is very nice, but very expensive from a scientific perspective. So I'm not sure that's going to end up being a top priority. Uh, once we're done with this, actually, I think what we do is we go for some simple storage compression, just so I can fit more water and other such goods, just in case things do uh, have... Uh, we have an event, for example, a dust storm, where I don't have enough water generation. Could always be a thing. Hopefully it won't, though. Yeah, let's see. I don't think there's anything else I can do right now. I think we're just sort of stuck waiting. Waiting for some tech to be done, waiting for anomalies to pop up, etc. We did start releasing greenhouse gases into uh, the world, which is helpful. Um, it does mean that uh, we're going to eventually get the temperature up to a level where the cold waves are no longer a threat. That would be fantastic. The more we can make... Gosh, they stole so much more. The more we can make um, Mars like Earth, the better off we are going to be. Yeah, not, not enough... Oh my gosh, there's just so many renegades getting around right now. It's a huge, stinking problem. We need more uh, officers, is what's coming down to. I need more people to get trained up for officing duty. Ugh... I mean, at some point, you just have to eat the cost, right? It's more expensive trying to deal with the renegades than just sort of letting them steal things. But I'm not thrilled about it. I kind of wish they would all just leave me alone. An idle extractor. Oh, looks like I have finally run out of concrete. That's unfortunate because we're going to need a lot of it if we want to set up another dome. There are other sources available. Um, 800 over there, 450 over there, 273 over there. Ugh. Not very impressive. Um, the problem is they're all out of range of my drones, so we'll have to actually kind of finagle getting some resources down over here. We have enough concrete for what we need for now. I think it takes like 120 for the next medium dome, but yeah, that's going to be rough. There is, of course, technology we could research to try and smelt down the rock into concrete. I'm not sure that that's going to be worth the uh, atrocious amount of energy, but someday maybe? Ugh. I don't know. Really wish that hadn't happened right now. Another hundred or so would have been nice. Low G engineering is done. Okay. So if we go over to here and get another dome, medium dome, it's not massive. Uh, a mega colossal dome probably would have been enough to stretch across the vista and the research point, which would have been great, but uh, it's not going to happen here. So maybe we place it about like this. I think that's reasonable enough. And what we'll do is we'll build some passages from um, the other existing domes over here. We'll move most of our residencies and some basic service buildings over here, and then we'll leave behind the factories 
maybe some farms or other such things. Actually, farms need to be moved over here for the comfort value, but still, you get the point. We'll do a grand migration of a lot of stuff into this dome once it's built, but that's, um, that's pretty pricey. Lots of metals, lots of concrete, and so on. We're probably gonna need another drone commander, to be honest. I mean, we had to get another drone hub. Sorry, not a, uh, not a commander like, you know, the, the mobile thing. A drone hub to deal with the uh, concrete needs and the medium hub, the medium dome. Yeah, I think that's worth probably buying. Anything else? Probes, I guess, can do deep scans, but I'm not sure I care enough. Oh, I think we just go ahead and bring our uh, Hopeless back, and we'll only set up another drone hub somewhere down over here, where it can take care of our concrete needs and supply the medium dome. Of course, if we're going to do that, we're probably going to get some more universal depots moved around here, and that's going to be tricky. We may even have to move the polymer factory, by the way. Unless we want to keep people living in this dome, just enough engineers to go and work over here, which I, I guess is okay. Eh, I don't know. I haven't decided how all that's going to work yet. We'll play it by ear. Found ourselves another anomaly for new tech. What are we going to get this time? Advanced rocketry, compact hangars, creative biorobotics, deep water extraction. That's good. Home Collective and Terra Tourism. Uh, let's see, Terra Tourism is only good for tourists. They give me extra money, but that's not helpful unless we have rockets bringing people in, so who cares about that? Creative Biorobotics consumes machine parts. I'm guessing this is another entertainment source? Takes machine parts. I'm not sure I care about that. Uh, advanced Rocketry. Yeah, this would have been helpful um, much, much, much earlier on in the game. That's useless to me now. Compact hangers for shuttle hubs. Don't plan on using that to research amplification. That could be helpful. Make the research labs and stuff more effective, but increasing power consumption. And home collective increasing... Uh, it's a new residential building. Oh, okay. Uh, more comfort rating and stuff out of that. All right, I mean... That is something we'll probably do at some point. I do believe, by the way, that the cipher over here starts off the main mystery uh, quest event. Which usually is intended to challenge your colony in some serious way. So I'm not very eager to get that started, at least until I feel a bit more comfortable with my current position. Maybe after we get the, um, maybe after we get the uh, medium dome put together and everything seems put, uh, moved in, I guess we could do that. But for the time being, uh, let's not tempt fate. Unless it's going to force the issue later, which it might. I don't know. Storage compression is done. Stem reconstruction. Ooh. Retirement age and death from old age happen later in the colonist's lifespan. Not useful to me right now, only because we actually have more population than I can deal with uh, currently. But soon, this will be very significant. Let's me keep each of my colonists longer, and if they don't retire, I think they don't become seniors to this, which means basically we increase our fertility uh, lifespan. Which could be huge! I don't know, maybe? We may want to do that. Um, I think we do, actually. <laughs> I think we definitely want to do that. Let's go ahead and land the Hopeless, grab myself another drone hub, should be helpful. Another incoming meteor, which is going to hit where? Right here. Okay, as long as we're out of the way, we should be fine. There we go. Uh, we do have a dust storm on the way in about a soul. I do have some materials dropped off over here, so we can repair everything and get this going. We will need the water extractor set up, because as we learned last time, we don't have quite enough water to lasso an entire dust storm just using these water towers. That's one of the reasons this uh, extra storage compression would have been nice. It's only going to be worse once we have a medium dome also consuming water. We may not move anyone in here until we're done with the dust storm anyway. But simply having the one water extractor up and running is enough to uh, save enough water to last. We don't need to worry about the moisture vaporators. All right, all of this is just getting annoying. You guys need to freaking move, dude. Get out of the way. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, Anomaly, what do you know? Thank you, I'll take it. Uh, we just got an event, Food Fight. Two of the largest fast food chains have filed simultaneous requests to serve the colonists. Oh, I do like fast food. Would you like a diet soda with your triple burger? For free, your only obligation is to make the colonists eat and supposedly enjoy the branded meals. Um, okay. So, Burglar King free construction of food service is kind of dumb because most food service buildings are not that expensive. Food import costs is irrelevant because we can't import food anyway thanks to the hunger rule of our maximum difficulty run. Oligarch we are not, which means the only option is to get food will always be bio and organic, which means all food service buildings grant more comfort, which just sounds good in general. So sure, why not? Let's make a basic grocer or a diner just make people more comfortable. That's a net gain. When was the last time that I had a net gain from one of those events that didn't have any strings attached? 
I can't remember one. Okay, the medium dome is rising up. Unfortunately, we're gonna have some power issues here pretty soon. Um, a couple of our uh, wind turbines got struck by lightning, which certainly doesn't help anything. Uh, people are gonna get really upset when they run out of power, but okay. Question, how do you even build up the, um, the dome like this? There's no like support beams and stuff. How do you just sort of materialize in a dome shape without it collapsing upon its own weight? I don't know. Anomaly analyzed. We got behavioral meddling and or melding, sorry, and Martian festivals. Uh, replaces random flaws with perks at the sanatorium can be good, and the festivals decorations have an increased comfort. Yeah, those are both very expensive for things that I'm probably not gonna be making much use out of. Can this building please get turned on soon? Like, how long does this stupid electronic stuff last? Oh god, fuel explosion. It struck my fuel and blew everything up. Well, that's no good. Okay, the storage compression tech is done. That leads to Mars Novo. Uh, how do you say that? Um, building constructions and metals and concrete reduced. Pretty nice if I want to save both of those, and I kind of do. Uh, yeah, I, I could go for that in the future. Is it higher priority than a lot of our other options? No, but I mean, it's, it's something. Uh, we do have some new anomalies for gravity engineering and localized terraforming, both of which don't sound very good. Well, I take it back. Geoscape Dome, the super gigantic mega dome. Yeah, um, but unbelievably expensive. So I don't see that being very good. And then we have Gravity Engineering. So we actually just got all the domes unlocked over here. Mega, Mega Trigon, and then the Geoscape. So all the true Giganto domes. Isn't one of my milestones to build a Mega? It is. So we're gonna need to do this at some point. We have to build a Mega Dome. It's a requirement. But we don't have the resources anywhere close to that, nor do I feel like we are uh, able to spare um, the research. So for the future, we will come back to that one. And Dust Storm is finally done. Okay, so now we are overproducing once again. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and turn these off. Don't think we need it. Uh, we can go ahead and turn off the water extractor. Got through most of a maintenance cycle. Not quite finished, though. Let's see. Um... So with the dome now done, we're building out a couple of passageways to connect this up into one giant loop so that people will easily be able to commute into their new area. Could actually consider getting rid of the passages along here and creating another passage up into the uh, medium dome, but I'm not sure we need to go quite that far. I think this is ultimately gonna become a, uh, a little bit reorganized. We're gonna turn this probably into a student dome. Actually, no, I don't even can fit that. Maybe? I was thinking it'd be nice to have the university and the school and stuff, but I'm not sure we can get enough housing as things currently stand. Maybe not, maybe not. I do think we're eventually going to move the medical spire out of here, uh, just because we're going to end up making much better use of it using... Oh, we only have one spire slot here, never mind. Maybe this remains the breeding dome, the fun deck, quote-unquote, and this is where the rest of the people live. Hmm. Might be what I do. We are um, about to run completely out of concrete. Okay, so now that we have this dome over here then, what we need to do is set up a new concrete extractor. Not a ton of concrete to go around, but it'll do. We will need, of course, some power to get set up. Probably running all the way to the dome, kind of like so. The dome will end up being the hub for a lot of this. And we will need to place down the new drone hub. Now, I could place you right up over here, and it actually would be in range of a lot of stuff. Yeah. We'll try placing it right along here. I think that's going to end up being fine. Plus, a couple of storage areas for my new concrete. It's not a lot of concrete is the real downside. It's only going to be about 450. So, this will tie me over for a while. Oh, sorry. No, this is the 880. Never mind. This will tie me over for a good long while, then. But we absolutely have to get the uh, get the power set up over here and actually get this figured out. So the sooner we can get this prefab done, the better. Get this all upgraded. And I'll probably need to use my transport to actually deliver some metals. Oh, we just got a breakthrough. What's this? Vocation-oriented society. 10 plus work bonus when all their stats are in the green. Well, that could be nice. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get everyone's stats in the green. We seem to always have something wrong. Could be sanity issues or something along those lines. Not sure, but... Hey, cool. If we get that opportunity, I'll take it. Let's see. Some more techs available thanks to an anomaly. Orbital engineering and deep metal extraction. 
Ugh, we're getting down to the very bottom here. So space elevators, looks like wonders are still at the very bottom of the tech tree, even though we randomized a lot of stuff. That's honestly for the best. Because if we got like orbital engineering at the beginning of the game, what would we have done with that? Answer, nothing. Uh, deep metal extraction would allow me to start exploiting the rare um, and regular metal deposits as long as they are the large deep earth ones, like right here, for example, which usually have a pretty large deposit. So that's not so bad. Not to mention, I think we did have something here, did we not? Yes, this one that gave an extremely rich underground uh, rare metal deposit. Now we actually could get the tech to make that into a reality. Not sure you want to right now, but it is a thing that we could totally do. Uh, cold wave approaching, really bad timing for that. Because um, of course this dome is gonna be very expensive to heat. Uh, maybe we delay the transition of people over here a little bit longer if that's the case. I don't know. Um, we should be able to produce enough water and, uh, power thanks to all of these wind turbines to keep it going as long as we don't have this on. We are having a lot of homelessness, and that's because our birth rate is greatly outstripping how fast we are killing off the seniors. Uh, if we can please get people over here and kill them a little faster, kill them with some kindness, that would be awesome. Gonna take me a little bit of time. Notice we're doing fine on food, by the way. That's that's definitely making some progress. Oh, come on. All right, hang on. You guys actually need to get out of here. Boom! All right, that's a rebuild, and that's a rebuild. That sucks. By the way, a while back, I was questioning whether or not our uh, dome over here, once it got those heater upgrades from the events, would be permanent. It sure looks like it might be permanent. Like, that doesn't seem like an absurd amount of electricity, so I think the heating is still working here. And if that is the case, then I don't feel as bad about my investment in that. Oh, is it perfect? No, not at all, but it's something. I'll take it. It's all right. Oh, New anomaly done. Fusion auto-regulation and magnetic treasure. field generator. At least one of those is for terraforming. Yeah, that's how we're going to retain atmosphere. Yeah, that's actually um, something I was talking about with the co-workers. We were talking about the terraforming process of Mars, and uh, the fact that Mars doesn't have a proper magnetic field really messes quite a bit of stuff up. It's pretty interesting. Uh, fusion uh, fusion auto-regulation is actually great because it reduces the amount of workers that would have to work over there, which is quite nice if you want to get one of the most efficient power sources in the game. And at some point, we definitely do, since it's not beholden to the sun or to the wind. But for now, it's a very, very, very expensive investment. And I'm not sure I'm going to waste too much time on it right now. we just got a couple hours left to go, and then we're going to be able to finally open up the dome. And move a lot of new residents into here. Which appears to be right about now. Perfect. Okay, this gets turned off. And this gets turned off. We can go ahead and turn a few other things back on. So let's go ahead and start producing plenty of fuel. As well as some more metals and everything else. Okay, so... How do we want to arrange this? Well, first off, we haven't even got any power set up over here. Uh, we should probably go ahead and establish some power cables. Probably go along kind of like this. I don't think we technically need any piping between these. Because the um, passages are supposed to provide the oxygen, water, and stuff I think that we would need anyway. So everything should already be provided here. Now it's just a matter of turning it on. What we want to do is we don't want any children to be here, but we do want some working adults, but no seniors. All of that is completely fine. Uh, as far as specializations, I'm not really worried about this. I think just about anybody can go over here and that's gonna be fine, but the other domes, not so much. For example, right over here, we're gonna wanna change this, I think, so that primarily engineers live here to work the factories and the polymers and not much else. So that will be a priority here. Uh, in this dome, which is now renamed as Hargan, right. We're going to go ahead and make this primarily so non-specialized live here. Ideally, so that they'll go to school and learn something more useful. Okay. And I think we still will have children over here primarily to go to school. But this should be it. And as far as the farms and everything else, everyone should be able to work them. By the way, did you guys know that apparently crops can grow even if you have no people? We'll get no food, but I think we're going to get the soil quality out of this too. Kind of weird, right? Anyway, so there should be residences for a lot of people if they so desire to come over here. Let's turn this on. We're going to have to, of course, fix this thing up, but that's fine. 
Uh, we have jobs for the infirmary. We're going to have jobs in a security station, a grocer, and a diner, and the farm to start. I don't even really think that this farm is necessary, but I built it primarily to increase the morale or the comfort rating of this entire area. All right, that was that was the thought there. Let's turn this... I need to have somebody working over here because I want to get this cover crops done. That'd be nice. All right, so power-wise, we're looking sort of okay. Water-wise, we seem to be draining a surprising amount. I didn't think it was going to be this bad. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just set up some redundant piping. It's totally unnecessary, but I'm going to do it anyway just to make sure we have a clear route to support our life support in this area. Uh, we'll do something kind of like this and like this. There we go. Nice that it's all instantaneous, right? And, of course, we're going to want to get some additional water towers and other such things. Just so we have immediate local backups. So we'll rotate around an extra oxygen tank, kind of like so. And we're going to need to have an extra battery or two. Although I am currently researching, or I will be researching, the Atomic Accumulator. Which will allow me to store a heck of a lot more power. But for now, we'll do this. Oh, that was a meteor and a half right there. Go boom. Oh my god, it just blew up everything! Oh, I just lost a lot of resources. Wow. The good news is we already have been moving a lot of our other spare resources, like polymers and stuff, over here. But yeah, that was a lot of metals and stuff we just suddenly lost. Thank you, Mr. Meteor. I hate you oh so very, very much. This water tower apparently is destroyed as well. Um, what else? The polymer factory exploded. Okay. And the moisture evaporator. That was a huge impact. It destroyed loads of resources from a fuel explosion, and it destroyed three other buildings. Oh my god, that is so unbelievably unfair. You know what? Since this thing's already been trashed, forget it. Let's just go ahead and not place the polymer factory there. We'll go ahead and get rid of it, and we'll move it somewhere else. Somewhere where all the other domes could interact with it. Like, let's say over here. This is a better place. We'll do this. And that, by the way, right there is the reason we should not have been allowing fuel to be stored here in the first place. I thought I turned it off, but I did not. Costly, costly mistake. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, I did just find a nice anomaly. Reduce the cost of physics tech by 10%. Uh... Yeah, I mean, that could be certainly quite helpful, especially if you need to get things like the Meteor Defense Systems. We could also work on the Fusion or the different extractors. Yeah, yeah, a 10% reduction in all of that is actually quite helpful. Thank you. Oh, we actually were able to stop a crime in Foxytrot. Nice. So, um, the number of people living in Foxytrot are actually pretty much maxed out already at 42. A lot of people migrating over here already. Of course, we're having lots of Renegade issues, and that's going to continue to be a problem for at least a while, but that's okay. Um, over here, you know, I question whether or not we really need some of this stuff. We've taken so many people out of this dome and moved them into Foxytrot that I don't think that we're going to be able to fill most of these jobs. Like, the diner, is this really useful at this point? Probably not. We also apparently have a gross overcapacity of kids. What is happening? 22 children! Oh my god! God, everyone just started popping out the babies. Hardcore, everyone just started popping out the babies. Jesus! All right, we're gonna change this up so that um, I think only children can live here. Everyone else has to move out. You can go and commute to your jobs. Yeah, we need to keep all the kids set up over here now. Wow, all right, gaming tournaments. Oh, this sounds like fun. Another colony is organizing a large-scale gaming competition, highly anticipated by all gamer colonists. Come to watch the Marscraft Tournament live, the most immersive gaming experience the solar system awaits you. Okay, well, we can say surviving Mars is not a gain. Uh, we will lose 40% gamers, gain 25 standing. I don't know what that means. We can make our own gain 10 new colonists. Is that really how it works? Do I actually gain 10 new colonists? Hmm. We'll gather a team to participate and try to take the grand reward. Chance to lose or gain 25 morale. Or, because we're Paradox Interactive, we'll make a game design tournament instead. Gain 10 enthusiast gamer colonists. Oh, frick, for the heck of it, we have to do this. All right. Woo! Paradox Interactive comes in for the clutch! <laughs> so, you say we got 10 more population. Oh, yes, we did. We got 10 gamers. Wow. Wow, okay. 
No, that's that's great. That's fun. That's amazing. Super duper cool. And actually, because of that, we completed a milestone for getting over a hundred colonists. And now we have a thousand. The population just went up again. Oh my god, the children just keep coming. We have so many babies coming in, we might actually have to start using some fertility blockers here. Because this is turning out to be a bit much more than I was expecting. On the plus side, though, actually with the stem reconstruction, we're going to be able to have the uh, retired live a lot longer before they go to the Bengal fields. So that will end up being nice. But at the same time, that means we're going to hold on to population a lot sooner. Yeah, we may actually have too much fertility now. Oh boy, that's going to be great. Anomaly analyze, carbonate processor, and high-powered jets. Uh, that allows me to start burning um, waste rock to create atmosphere in conjunction with the magnetic field generators, how we would get the atmosphere. Also, yes, more capacity for shuttles, which I'm not using, even though we totally could because I got plenty of fuel. Looks like our metals are done over here. We call that unfortunate, but it's all right. We'll eventually replace it with a deep metals deposit. But we will need to get some metals in the short term, at the very least. We might as well just do this one here. We've already got a lot of stuff set up. Why not just go ahead and place down another metals extractor? Too far? Too far? Oh, that that does actually bite. We're barely out of range. Barely! Come on! You couldn't give me a little bit more than this? Right, well, we're not doing that one then. How about this one over here? Fine, for now, we'll just go ahead and start extracting metals from there. Stem reconstruction technology is done. So basically, everyone lives longer and works longer. That is honestly kind of huge. That's a pretty huge upgrade for me. Now we're working on the atomic accumulator. I could work on the hanging gardens, which would greatly increase the comfort of a medium dome. Alternatively, though, what we could work on is possibly the sanatorium. So we can start getting rid of some of the flaws and then take that in conjunction with behavioral melding and start improving all of our people. Because here's the thing. As much as I do like the Hanging Gardens and they do increase the um, they do increase the beauty and the comfort of a region quite a bit, as we're finding out, like I'm looking over here and our population is just constantly skyrocketing. We first off need to send some more adults over to the Bengal fields because I'm almost already at capacity in some of these domes. I had to open this dome back up away from just children because it turns out we had to we didn't we were having homelessness issues. You can't make this dome only for kids. So yeah, um, this is gonna turn out to be a bit weird. Let's go ahead and get ourselves another uh, residence over here with the expectation that we need to have more seniors getting sent off to die a little bit faster. <laughs> and free up some much needed real estate. But yeah, the medium dome seems to have really given me quite a leg up. We're gonna need to be able to get some additional officers here since we do have quite a few renegades that are building up here and it's only going to get worse as we continue to skyrocket the population. Working on some extra research labs over here which is resulting in me getting quite a lot of science between both of them now so our science has just taken a huge skyrocket. Soon we're going to get the atomic accumulator which lets me store a lot more power. We'll go for the behavioral melding so I have the sanatorium. I can start removing nasty flaws and start improving them so that all of our colonists just ultimately are just better in every meaningful way. Uh, starting to run lower on water in a few areas, and that's concerning to me. What is costing me all the water? I guess it's going to end up being these fuel refineries. Well, the good news is I can place down more of these uh, moisture evaporators, so who cares? And we got plenty of polymers. Let's take a look at this. Way overproducing, way overproducing. Not grossly overproducing electronics, but still pretty good. Producing tons and tons of fuel. We should be producing way more food than I need. So the only thing I'm struggling with right now are the basics. Power, oxygen, water, metals, concrete. Those are the only things I am struggling with right now. And a lot of that's coming down to maintenance and just not having the best supplies. But once I start getting some underground connections, oh boy. We will not have much to worry about. We are looking super duper solid. I think from here on out, we should be able to start skyrocketing with our colonies. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.